Hey guys, today's Tuesday Tech Tip is going to be on how to create bookmarks within a Google Doc. With bookmarks, you can actually link within a Google Doc to a specific section or a page within that same Google document. So it's actually really useful for the classroom with students. So in this case, you want to open a Google Doc where you would like to add some internal links. And what I want to do in this particular document is when a student, I want a student to be able to click on a name right here and it take them to that specific section where that they can read about that specific person. So in order for that to happen, I have to first create a bookmark. So I'm going to click before the name. So wherever you want to add the bookmark to, just click right before it. Go to insert bookmark and it's going to create a little blue bookmark right here. Now I want to make sure that when they click here it takes them to this section of the reading. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go to insert link because we want to create a link and notice now when I have inserted my bookmark it automatically pops up as an option under links. So I'm going to open that up and there's my bookmark on Ebenezer Hinckley so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on apply now when this is sent to students they will be able to click on this and it will take them directly here to the bookmark so I'm going to do the same thing we'll do one that's a little further down to Daniel Cornwall I'm going to click in front of him I want to add a bookmark insert bookmark and then I'm going to go back up and I'm going to highlight his name and go to insert link this time because I want to create a link. I'm going to open up my bookmarks and click on his name and hit apply. So I would do this for each um, person, each section basically that I want the students to read. Um, another thing that you can do with this besides linking internally is now that you have created the bookmark, you can actually share this particular section with a recipient or with somebody else. So what I would do if I want to do that is I would click on the bookmark, I would click on link, and it's going to automatically copy the link for me. And then I could actually send that link through Gmail or however I want to share that link with somebody, with the recipient. Um, I would share it with them and when they open that link up, it's going to take them to this specific section right here. So they know that this is what I want them to look at. They don't have to worry about scrolling or looking through or reading the entire document. It takes them right to where I need them to go. Bookmarks is also great just simply to use as a bookmark tool in Google Docs. So um, it has multiple uses. My favorite is definitely the internal links because it's great for students. Um, other than that, if you wanted to link to somewhere outside the Google Doc, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to use bookmarks. What you would do is you, let's say I want if they click on Boston Massacre, I want um, this to go to an outside link. I'm going to highlight Boston Massacre. I'm going to go to Insert, Link, and I'm going to grab the link from the website that I want them to take it to. I'm going to go to Copy. I'm going to paste that link in and hit Apply. Now when students click on this, they can click on that link and it's going to take them to that website. So that would be an external link. So external links do not need bookmarks in Google Docs. Internal links do need a bookmark within Google Docs. And bookmarks are only available with Google Docs, not with slides or not with sheets. So it's definitely really useful in the classroom. And that is your Tuesday Tech Tip.